Hello and welcome to StarCraft. This is a game that I've talked about a couple times on the channel and a game that I mentioned I did want to start playing and, well, today is the day I re-download it and give it a try. Now this is a game I haven't played in about just shy of four years and as you guys are probably familiar with StarCraft, it's kind of a try-hard game, a game you can't just hop right into. So let's just hop right into it. I haven't played any of my placement matches, so we're going to be starting off a 1v1 in the ranked. Now my main is Zerg, so we'll we'll see how this goes down. Now I'm not entirely unfamiliar with StarCraft. It's a game I have played before uh, in my previous playthroughs. I ended this, I placed as high as platinum and ended as high as gold. Uh, looks like we're against a gold zerg player here so this is gonna be exciting probably gonna get wrecked but uh let's hop right into this and see how it works out and we're off now this is not a live cast of the game i'm not talking while recording the game because well i did that uh, during this match, and the only thing I got out of it was either dead silence or just uh, incoherent screaming. So I went ahead and post recorded the audio here because otherwise, I, I, I just doesn't doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. And uh, we'll, we'll see if I can get better and more accustomed to the game instead of having to look at all the hotkeys while pressing them. As otherwise, I just, uh, this might be a while before I could do some live casting of the game, at least anything outside of the arcade. But for now, I'm just starting off with some, you know, some drones. Could you do it early expand? Little, uh, little Easter egg here for you guys who know. And for the rest of it, uh, it's just going to get pretty exciting pretty quick here. I am trying to go for a, a, a Roach-style build that's a, kind of an early mid-game attack with a lot of, just a lot of units. It, no tricks, no shenanigans, no spellcasters. Just get a bunch of heavy, tanky units and just throw them across the map and just kind of hope you'll win. That, that's kind of what I'm going for here, because frankly, I'm not familiar enough with this game in order to, to do anything more than that, at least not at this point. I'll have to to get better, and that will come that will come later. But for now, I'm getting drones. I, I haven't done anything extraordinary here just yet. The, the early parts of the game, just like in forts, is always very samey. There's not a whole lot of action going around, usually, unless someone does something completely crazy, but I'm only partially crazy. Uh, I haven't reached a point where I've completely lost all of my marbles just yet, so maybe it'll come sometime down the way. And I I am feeling a little bit of fear here because my opponent is Zerg, and Zergs are very well known for being very aggressive. Uh, something that I have no experience dealing with because I haven't played the game. And it's always very concerning. Uh, I do see on the mini-map here, though I'm not looking at my opponent's base, that he does have an expansion and is sending out an overlord or something. So I'm not really worried. I don't... I, I don't don't pay attention to it much, but this is probably going to be one of the last few times I actually paid attention to the minimap because I just start panicking, and you'll see why pretty quickly here. Now, I did preemptively make these lings. Uh, for those who are more accustomed to watching StarCraft, you would have seen the opponent's lings come out, and I did, did not quite pay that much attention to it. Uh, I just kind of preemptively made lings and just kind of hope they survived, and a couple queens, and I, I'm not afraid of what's going on here too much, actually. Despite me losing a drone, I, I know my queen can handle it, and that'll be fine. So I, I just kind of hoping he's going to leave me alone from here on out, because I'm not prepared and not ready to deal with incoming aggression, aggressive zerglings. It's, it's too many of them. I don't, don't quite know how to deal with them. I'm just going to kind of ignore them and hope they go away. Usually not the case. I see that zergling still there, so I, I want to kill it off and then pull my queen back. I do see he has additional zerglings, but I know my queen can handle all of those just fine, so I don't worry about it too much. But uh, at this point, I do get a couple more zerglings, because if he's still making zerglings, as you saw, the zerglings have multiplied, then I don't want to be completely left alone. But I do want to keep droning up even more. And then this happens. More zerglings. And he's killed off the more zerglings that I've made, and the rest of them are still coming out, so now I, I kind of got to kind of got to really react here, and that, I'm hoping, is going to be enough, but it isn't. He's got just more stuff than me. Now, he doesn't have a, enough to do a lot of damage here, so I, I can clean this up, 
in fact, Windsor can survive that. But he does seem to be getting more aggressive. And more aggressive, and just keep sending off more and more Zerglings. And I just keep trying to add more drones and continue on with my life. But he doesn't want to let me. He just wants to just send more Zerglings. Look, more Zerglings just trickling in. And it's just more Zerglings. Look at him go. Oh god, there's more. That, that's that's my thought process right now. Just just like, please leave me alone. Let me build my things. I just want to build drones and bases. I like building bases. Bases make me happy. And just now I just, now he's just sending more stuff. And I, I don't have all the... Uh, I don't have enough things to stop him from sending more stuff. And then, oh my god, Banelings. When did these get here? And that's, that's what's going through my brain right now. Uh, so I, I, I do actually split off my Zerglings here. Which is nice. Actually putting a little bit of micro and then... Sending off the Zerglings one by one to take out the Banelings without anything horrific happening to them. Uh, I built a second Devo Chamber there, although I, I didn't need to. I had forgotten that I built one already, because surprise, surprise, Banelings in my base kind of threw me off. Like, I even forgot that I built a Roach Warren, and thankfully that I did, because otherwise I'd be real out of here real quick. Because, wouldn't you know it, there's another blue blob appearing at the front of my base, and oh my god, more Banelings, more Zerglings, why does this guy not stop? He just keeps adding on the pressure. He's not even really doing that much damage, like, honestly. The reason I'm not panicking too much, despite being unfamiliar with a lot of things, is that he's not actually doing damage to me. He's killed a few drones, or a few queens, and okay, now that's some damage. That actually hurt quite a lot. So, it's, it's, it's just, that is kind of painful now. And uh, I've forgotten my overlords at this point, so I'm just really starting to, to feel the supply block as it comes up, as I keep hitting it. And it's now that I've lost all the drones at my natural expansion, I've kind of lost a lot of the, well, a lot of the leeway, a lot of the step ahead of him that I had. And now, I've, now we're kind of on even terms, and he's still insistent on sending more things into my base. But thankfully, I've got a roach warren, and some roaches, and enough to, to kind of hold them off, but no queens, which is nice. I say no queens, as I had two sitting in the main base and completely forgot about them. And yes, I know, I am getting kind of lucky that he isn't hitting that third base. Not that anything exciting is happening at the third base, I have like a single drone there. Alright, so I'm finally getting my queens into order. Building some creep to connect, that way my queens can get across between the bases without going real slow. I did build those uh, gas production facilities, but I'm not mining from them because, well, I don't have enough minerals, and I figured I didn't need more gas right now, I need more minerals, so I'm just gonna let them kinda sit there despite me having built them. It just adds here. I am being supply blocked still for like a whole minute. It's kinda ridiculous, actually. I couldn't just build more overlords, it'd be great. Yeah, I, so, yeah, it's always embarrassing going back. Now, what I did there is I put my mouse into the upper right corner to check my uh, army population versus my drone population. I saw that I only had like 35 drones, which is not nearly enough, so I immediately go into building more and more drones. And oh my god, here he comes again with more roaches and banalings and all kinds of things, and yeah, I'm not winning this fight. He just had more stuff than I did. Or if he didn't, he just had those mailings rolled in and just slaughtered all of my things. So now I actually have to really macro, or micro some of this stuff. And I do pull that one roach back because he's targeting it. And all of his units chase it, which is nice for me. And then I start transfusing my roaches here. And that's, that's going to be just enough with the additional roaches popping out that I was constantly building to send him returning back to whence he came. And I, again, survive. And with what I imagine is a stronger economy, then I'm gonna be okay. For now. He hasn't killed me off yet. As he sends more and more units. And I build more roaches to react to the more zerglings that he just sent out. I'm actually kinda, kinda happy he's just sending out zerglings. Because if he was sending out more than just zerglings, I'd probably be in trouble at this point. Like, if instead of spending those resources on zerglings, he spent it on, say, roaches, I would, I would be in a bad way, probably. Though I do have a pretty strong economy at this point. I'm up at three bases. Uh, they're starting to get saturated at this point. I've got all the things in gas, and I'm getting a, a proper three base economy despite fighting my pop cap at this point because silly me still doesn't build overlords. Uh, I need to work on building my overlords. It's it's kind of kind of not great. And you know, 
I'm, I'm, I'm starting to feel all right here. He hasn't done enough damage to stop me. I'm starting to mine out my main. But I'm, I'm feeling all right. I, I've, I overdid it on the overlords. I see he built the spire there. So uh, he built that a long time ago. Pro tip, I did see it. Uh, but I didn't notice it. I didn't observe it. So now I'm just building spore, col spore colonies just to make sure that I don't uh, get overwhelmed by surprise mutalisks. Uh, doing some injects there and then moving on to uh, check things out. I did actually hear my opponent build a nidus worm there. I, I heard it raised from the ground. It makes that, that global screeching sound. So I'm sending out my roaches here to check for areas that I think it might be as well as just to have them in a place where they can quickly react to my opponent suddenly having stuff from any and every direction which is always kind of concerning. At this point I'm continuing to just gather resources, build roaches, upgrade roaches and such, expand, moving on with my life and that's well that's about it. I'm getting a giant, giant fist of roaches that they, they don't shoot up they don't shoot mutilus so i know that if he comes in with mutilus oh my god that's a sound that's scary because i just realized that there's a dark spot in my base and uh oh i uh, i'm looking for it and then uh oh there it is it's in my base i see it coming i know he's got a, a large army coming through that and i don't oh god mutilus oh god mutilus that, that's what's going through my head right now he's got an army he's got mutilus and my army's out of position i just expect this base to, to just die so I don't, I don't expect to survive here, but what I intend to do is move everything up here, smash it, and then A, move over his base for the win. That's what I want. I see him reinforcing through my front with additional stuff. I just completely crush him here with my superior economy. He's got Mutalist, but he doesn't have nearly enough DPS, and that is the end of the match. Whew. That was exciting. Like, you guys have no idea how excited I was. I literally had to go and do push-ups after this just to get some of the adrenaline out of my system. But if you guys want to see more of this and to see my progression through the ranks and see if I ever do get good at StarCraft, do let me know and leave a comment, and we'll see you guys later. Later!